It's time for the Rebirth Sports Full Game Recap, and we go all the way back to February the 21st of the year 2023 when the Nashville Predators were hosting the Vancouver Canucks at Bridgestone Arena, and John Hines deploys his lines in the following way. Granlin, Johansson, and Duchesne are put together for this game. Niederreiter, Novak, and Parson, Trenton, Glass, and Tomasino, Smith, Sissons, and Janot make up your forward groupings. McDonough and Yossi, Ekholm, and Luzon, Gravel, and Fabro, your defensive pairings, and UC Saros gets the start in net at Bridgestone Arena. We're only 26 seconds into the first period, and UC Saros is coming up with a save on Pedersen's first shot on goal of the game. 258, that's when Delia comes up with his first save of the game on Trennan. That's when the Preds get their first shot on goal. It would be 438, though, in the first period, so the Preds wouldn't wait long. Cole Smith's third goal of the season comes off of the rebound jam. Sissons was also there participating in the jam session. This play was challenged for offsides and upheld by the hair of a skate blade being up over the blue line. But it is upheld. It is a good goal for the National Person. They lead 1-0 over the Vancouver Canucks on home ice. So the Preds get out to a good start over Vancouver. And Vancouver is also charged with a delay of game penalty for a failed challenge for the offsides challenge. The only note I made here was not a great power play. That's unfortunate because the Vancouver Canucks have the worst rated penalty kill in the entire league. So not a great power play is really a bad bad power play 849 yeah bad power play 849 of the first period Fabro's off to the box two minutes for hooking he's been taking up residency over there in the penalty box an awful lot as of late Saros comes up with the save on Kuzmenko Saros then comes up with the save on Quinn Hughes 12 11 of the first period Saros comes up with the save on Garland 14 18 Delia checking back in with a save on Yossi 14 28 Yossi then off to the box so 10 seconds after the shot on goal Yossi is trying to work the front of the net area he ends up colliding with with and falling over the top of Delia. He gets two minutes for goaltender interference. Yes, defenseman did push him in just a little bit, but this was a pretty easy call to make. Saros comes up with a save on Beauvilliers. Jam attempt on the power play, but the Vancouver Canucks are unable to get past Saros. 1844 of the first period. Delia comes up with a save on Yossi's redirect in the low slot. There's the captain yet again there in the high danger area. 1933 of the first. Saros comes up with a save on Miller. We at the end of the first period, the Preds looked like they were controlling early, but Vancouver after their power plays end up piling up some shots on goal 13 to 8 they outshoot the Preds in the first period we go to 235 of the second period and UC Saros is coming up with a save on Studnicka at 521 Delia is coming up with a save on Juno at the top of the crease Juno cannot get the backhander to go 623 Studnicka is off to the box two minutes for tripping Preds back to the power play and these were the notes I was making for the first power play unit offsides poor zone entries short handed chances against change to a fresh unit Tom Tomasino's got his first goal of the season. Close range finish after Yuso Parson and set up off of the rush. Rare that you score off the rush on the power play. And Tomasino and Parson in hooking up right here to give the Preds a 2-0 lead. The first minute 30 of this power play was absolutely dreadful. And then Philip Tomasino goes out there and converts 2-0 in favor of the Preds. 9.56 into the second period. Saros comes with a save on Garland off of the rush. 11.48, Saros another save on Miller. 12.47, Kuzmenko gets by Saros. His 25th of the season. He slipped behind Yossi for the breakaway. Then he beats UC Saros as well. Manko gets Vancouver on the board 2-1 now in favor of the Nashville Predators. 15-54 of the second period. Saros comes up with a save on Hughes through Eckholm's legs. It was a sharp angle shot and a weird way to shoot it through Eckholm's legs as well. But what a hell of a way to use it, the defenseman as a screen. UC Saros really had to concentrate and come up with some good focus on this particular play. 17-52. Fabros wanted to get back over. Fabro wanted to get back over the penalty box. So he takes a holding penalty. And that's when UC Saros goes back to work with a big save on Beauvillier. And then Dries eighth goal of the season the puck was just sitting on the goal line and they go to work jam it is reviewed it is upheld yes the goal did come off of the peg but the puck was clearly over the goal line before that happened the Nashville Predators caught a break early in the game and this one maybe you think it was a break but I think this was the right call I think both of them were the right call we got a tie game at 2-2 that's the only thing that matters right here it's deemed a good goal 
Nashville Predators would respond, though, before the end of the second period. It would be Nino Niederreiter's 16th goal of the season with 10 seconds remaining in the second period. Tommy Novak played the puck from below the goal line to the top of the crease, and that's where Nino Niederreiter brings the jam. Two opportunities before putting the puck into the net, giving the Nashville Predators back a one-goal lead going into the intermission. Preds lead 3-2 to two after 40 minutes played. Vancouver is out shooting Nashville for the game. 23 to 15 so the Preds only able to generate seven shots on goal in the second period but they do maintain a one goal lead we go into the third period on the clean sheet 148 in Joshua is off to the box two minutes for hooking giving the Nashville Predators a power play and that's where Delia is coming up with a save on Niederreiter at 616 of the third period UC Saros comes up with a save on Bear 623 Saros a save on Kuzmenko 744 Grandlands seventh goal of the season gives the Nashville Predators a four to two lead it was glasses shot that trickled behind delia Granlin then gets behind the net minder and cleans up putting the loose puck across the goal line and into the net preds lead four to two in the third period 1344 of the third period Saros comes up with a save on the line in 1522 of the third Janot is off to the box two minutes for holding another nashville predators late game penalty when they have lead vancouver pulls delia to get the six on four they would generate numerous shots over continuous zone time and keep-ins and uc Saros would survive the scramble and he would bend but he would not break in this particular situation right here we flip the sheet over we go to the back we see 1836 UC is coming with a save on Pedersen but at 1854 it is Garland his 12th goal of the season in the six on five scenario it's a tip and a close range intense intense pressure by the Vancouver Canucks and they finally break through on UC Saros under this circumstance four to three now in favor of the Nashville Predators we go immediately back to the six on five and that's in 1945 when we see Kuzmenko scoring his 26th goal of the season his second of the game and this was absolutely maybe the most perfect high slot redirect into the top corner that you're ever going to see UC Saros had zero chance of stopping this play with 15 seconds left in the game the Vancouver Canucks Canucks have tied the game at four apiece, so Vancouver has scored two six-on-five goals in the last minute and six seconds of this game, and we hit to the overtime session. The game tied at four apiece. Vancouver outshoots Nashville for regulation 38 to 24, so that means Vancouver for the third period went from 23 to 38 shots on goal so 15 shots on goal and just insane amounts of pressure for the Canucks there down the final minutes of the third period we go to the overtime session Nashville Purs have secured one point Vancouver has secured a point we play an additional five at three on three for one more point 114 into the overtime session Saros comes with a save on Miller at 349 it's Miller again this time hits the upper 90 on the left hand side of the net at 457 Bosser does get called for a penalty two minutes for tripping Preds did have some opportunities with the netminder pulled waiting for the penalty to be called but they were unable to convert so we hit the end of the overtime session with Vancouver now finishing the overtime session with 39 shots on goal the national players 26 for the game so the Preds two in overtime in Vancouver one in overtime we go to the shootout session and it is Matt Duchesne converting for the Nashville Predators while UC Soros goes three out of three in the shootout to bail the Nashville Predators out in this one on home ice the Preds come away with a five to four victory in the shootout they do pick up that second point critical point because Minnesota also won this evening so the Nashville Predators maintain that margin of being seven points behind instead of falling potentially nine points behind tonight after being up by two late in the third period it was just improbable the Nashville Predators found themselves in overtime after giving up a late goal against Minnesota to lose the game on Sunday afternoon giving up two late goals right here to tie it up they secure the extra point in the over in the shootout session but it shouldn't have come to that the Nashville Predators should have been able to handle the Vancouver Canucks better than that but they do get the two points and they do get out of Bridgestone Arena now heading off to San Jose and Arizona. That was the Rebirth Sports full game recap. <laughs>